today i am going to show you how to create a vertical rhythm grid or vertical grid using adobe xd now uh, previously i think two days ago one of my student he asked me that how you can create a vertical rhythm grid uh, using adobe xd and uh, i have a whole course on typography and these grids and uh, using white space modular grid creating vertical rhythm and how to use uh, that vertical rhythm in web design and um, uh, UI design. Uh, if you want to take that course, you can see the course in the description, in the link, link will be in the description of this video. Anyhow, so here I have a, a artboard which is actually 1280 by 800. And if you don't know uh, how to create an artboard, you can go over here in artboards and uh, let's deselect it. And you can go down and here we have three uh, web artboards, web 1280, web 1366, 1920. So uh, I have right now this bootstrap with vertical rhythm grid. So right now I am on this 1280 grid. Now, if you click this layout grid, you can see we have columns, 12 columns, uh, 30 gutter width, 65 column width, and 85 is the margin on both sides. So this is actually bootstrap grid uh, and these are actually columns. So this is horizontal grid. We have different columns to align uh, horizontally our things um, in this direction. So for vertical grid, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a rectangle and I'm going to draw a rectangle like this over here. Okay, and I'm going to remove the border and let's select this and we are going to make its height equal to eight. Eight pixels and let's fill it with some other color, maybe something like this. Okay, so this looks great. And then I'm going to, let's hide this um, uh, columns. And so we have this one now I'm going to duplicate or replicate it. I'm going to press Alt or Option key and click and drag. So we have another one. So let's zoom in and see if they are uh, touching each other like this. And then I'm going to change this its color to bit like this. Okay, so we have two lines over here that are spanning our whole design. And we are going to select both of them and we are going to create repeat grid. Okay, so you got the idea before that I think it's better if you align them both uh, group them and we are going to align it at the top like that. Okay, now we are going to select this uh, group and we are going to create uh, uh, this uh, repeat grid and that is basically the trick. So we have this repeat grid uh, like that. And now we are going to adjust the middle of this repeat grid, the spacing between this repeat grid and I am going to make it no, no minus, okay, so zero. So this is how actually uh, I am creating a vertical rhythm or vertical grid using Adobe XD. So now you have this, you can extend it to whatever size you want. Uh, you can change its opacity if you want to make it more lighter. You can have something like that and keep on extending it. So if you want to have more height of an artboard like 2500, no worries, just select this and extend this repeat grid in this direction uh, like this. So now if we want to place some text over it, let me use some text over here and I'm going to use uh, 1824. Okay, so this is going to work. So this is my text over here. Let's change, change its color to something like this. Now, if we zoom in and select this, we are going to make it a bit like this. Okay, so now you can see it is almost inside this uh three three uh, three vertical um vertical lines of eight pixels each because our line height is 24 so this is actually fitting in a 24 uh pixel height of this uh, these three uh, vertical grids 
So this is how we are going to use it. Let's uh, replicate this and welcome something like that. Let's reduce its size to 14 and uh, change its color to something like this. Uh, maybe something like that. Mm. Okay, so we are going to place it over here or maybe over here like that. So this is how we are going to uh, make sure you lock this repeat grid so it doesn't move around. So whenever you want to extend it, unlock it and extend it. Okay, so this is very necessary. Uh, uh, otherwise, you might accidentally move it around somewhere else. So you can see this is how you create a vertical rhythm grid in Adobe XD. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, video. If you have really liked or enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. And uh, I hope you, uh, I will keep on creating these kind of videos because most of the time students, they don't know or designers, they don't know how to create a 12 column grid uh, bootstrap with this vertical rhythm inside it. Uh, so you can see over here, we have 12 columns, uh, 30 gutter width, 65 column width and 85 margin on the both sides to create this uh, bootstrap grid with this vertical rhythm. So see you soon in another video. Till then, take care and bye.